We're stripping this area down to the bare bones here. We're gonna start working on our fall display in this area and I love a good fall display. Now, you guys, I told y'all we was gonna do a little bit. We was gonna do just a little bit. Remember I told you guys that? But we're gonna start working everything into place and start in this area right here. Now, we are racing against time. We're working against light. We will get as much done as we can before it gets too dark and you can't see anything. So we'll start off with these two containers right here. We are gonna be using a little bit of screen. We've put our drip tubing out here. So now we'll go in with some fresh soil. Let's get this in. Okay. Is it even here, you guys? Okay. Okay, we gotta close it a little bit. Perfect. For this container, same exact thing. We have a piece of window screen we put in the bottom. All right. Now, this container, I could scoop it out, but we're gonna pick the bag up. You know what? Let's just start planting. we finish these containers just in the nick of time now I'll go ahead and tell you what all we use in these containers we use a pumpkin for our centerpiece and we're saving because the pumpkins you can get pumpkins on the cheap end we came in we use the obelisk and then we also use a pansy now one of the things that I want to point out about pansies versus violas violas are perennials and they can be invasive. Use the pansy and then we also use a beautiful cabbage and we alternated those in the pattern and we did the same thing on this side over here. I love it, it's simplistic. Sometimes less is more and it's definitely giving that message here in this arrangement. I love when I have moments like this in the garden where I can show you guys 
or kind of tell you a little bit about what's going on behind the scene. So recently we put out a video where I showed you guys the hummingbird and the hummingbird was living its absolute best life in my garden. For more, it is really loving this super tunia Bordeaux. I normally have visitors from the hummingbirds. This is nothing new. They're my friends. Not only do I have visitors as such as hummingbirds, but we also have birds that are not as nice. <laughs> Even though there was a little mishap with the hummingbird as well. <laughs> but I wanted to show you all the progression of these flowers. Recently, I shared with you guys my secret formula that I had been working on, the fertilizer that I had been working on here. And I wanted to show you the before and the after. So I intentionally stopped fertilizing my plants here, my two containers at the front door, and all for good reason, because in order to have a product that you know that really works, that's tried and true, you have to put it through a little bit of adversity sometimes. So what I did was these containers had went through a little period where we went out of town and they were not being watered. So that was the first thing. And a lot of us, we're, we have busy lives, we work, we have children, families, whatever have you. So we might go through periods where our containers or our garden goes through adversity, but that's fine. What I did was I came, I showed you guys how I revived the containers, and then I showed you how they looked that day before, the day after, and we did the same thing in the back as well. Made a little bit of tweak to my fertilizer formula, and you guys, they have bounced back. The containers are absolutely just draping the ground, and I am totally obsessed. Now, granted, if you could have seen these about three days ago, but I got busy, I came outside, I said, okay, this is the look because you see how we have the geraniums right here? The geraniums were right here as well. Because we have this beautiful crab apple tree here, the geraniums don't get as much sun as this one right here. This one right here gets full sun. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for the fertilizer recipe, but I'm not sure if I'm going to take my fertilizer recipe to market, meaning that if I'm going to sell the fertilizer recipe, I am not sure yet, but I think I have gotten the golden ticket. If I decide not to market this and put my fertilizer recipe to market, then I'll share with you guys. Maybe that will just be my viral moment. So that's where I'm at with this. So I just wanted to hop out here and show you guys the progress of these containers here because you guys, I don't think the camera is doing it justice, baby. It is not. And then also, I want to say thank you because a lot of you guys have been pushing for me to grow my channel. Thank you all for all of the ones who are sharing my content. My analytics are telling me you guys are sharing the content. Thank you for everyone who is active down in the comment section. Thank you so much because I totally appreciate that. Thank you is not even enough because I appreciate that. So, giving me encouragement is letting me know honey that when the time comes and i have my viral moment it's going to be on and popping but you guys what do you think about these results come on get in close so when we planted these containers up we use a kimberly fern we use a banana lantana i came in with a geranium and then i used a super tunia bordeaux I also brought in that chartreuse color that I like to use inside of my containers and we did a lemon licorice plant. I am absolutely obsessed with this arrangement. These containers are full, but it's time for me to transition these over to my fall look. You could come in and you could add your little pumpkins around this and it would be absolutely fine. But these are draping, but I definitely wanted to show you the end result of these because these containers are getting ready to get pulled because it is certainly time to do our fall look over here. So now what I want to do is I want to go 
and I want to look for the perfect pair of obelisks here. So we're going to head out. I'm going to take you guys along with me and we're going to go shopping for some obelisks because I have this look and this feel and one of the areas of my garden that we're going to be given. And if I can find the obelisk that I'm looking for, it's going to be a hit. This is why I always say when you see something, you grab it because the obelisk that I'm looking for, I actually seen them earlier in the season and did not buy them and it's totally evading me right now where I got them from. Now I could reach out to the company that makes these obelisks because I've worked with them in the past but I don't necessarily have time for shipping and all of that. I don't know but let's go try to see if we can find these obelisks. Hopefully they're still there and they were a little bit on the pricey side and that's why I'm thinking that they may still be there. So let me know what you think about these containers and the fertilizer recipe you guys let me know what you think about that because we literally showed you guys how these containers look with the hummingbird you can see they were kind of scraggled and all of that so just imagine if you're in your garden you're it's mid-season your containers are struggling and you take some of this fertilizer you follow the directions as I give you the directions and a little bit of time your containers go from this for more it is really loving this super to this you are going to have is yard of the year honey yard of the month it ain't gonna be no question and you're going to be satisfied which is going to help you boost your confidence in gardening so drop down in the comment box let me know what you think let me know what you think about these containers i just want to know your whole thought about everything over here on the channel and then also you guys thank you so much for the support every time i'm somewhere and they have a selection of obelisks. I always like to stop and see what selection they have. But those are not the ones that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a certain type of obelisk and I am not seeing them here. So I might be out of luck on this design or I might have to use something that I already have in my current collection. And it's evading me where I've seen these original obelisks at because otherwise I would just go right to them. Because <laughs> I'm in so many different garden centers in different states and things so it's easy to get things mixed up. Right? So I'm not seeing anything so let's head to the next garden center. I used the fertilizer on this hydrangea this season neither one of my hydrangeas had any blooms because we had a late frost and look what we have here look what we have here look what we have here although we could not find the obelisk that I was looking for I can use these. The scale might be over the top, but I think I have a way that we can fix it. So these obelisks are pretty tall. You see they're hovering over me, but this is what we're going to use. I have a pair of these and they'll be perfect for where we're going to use these in the garden. <laughs> 